Use of variables in common rules. Now I have told you that there are three branches in mathematics that is arithmetic, geometry, and now what we are studying is algebra. Now how we can use this algebra, the variable of algebra to find out the geometry answer and to find out the arithmetic answers. Let's understand number one in the rules from geometry. Let's suppose there is a perimeter of a square. We know that the perimeter of square is 4 uh, 4 into sides of the length of square. So 4 into S we can say. Now S is here is a side of the square. So S here can be a variable. If a side of a square is 5 centimeter, so the perimeter is 20 centimeter. If the side of the uh, square is let's say 20 centimeter, so the perimeter is 80 centimeter. Right? So S here is taken as the variable that if we change the variable, the perimeter will of the square will be changed accordingly. Now perimeter of rectangle is 2 into length plus breadth. We can say it as 2 into length plus 2 into breadth. Now here we are using two variables L for length and B for breadth of the rectangle. So again here L and B both are variables. They if the value of one variable is given to us, we can find the value of other variable. Let's suppose if we are given the breadth, we can easily find out the value of length given the perimeter of rectangle. So with, even if there are two variables given to us, we can easily find out the one variable from it. Again, we are representing this in the form of variable. So L and B are variable here. Now rules from arithmetic. We have started in whole numbers the property that is commutative property of addition which says A plus B is equal to B plus A. Right? So A and B again here are variables. A can be any whole number, B can be any whole number. Right? So again A and B we have taken as variables in the arithmetic also. So we can easily find out the one variable from given the other variable. Then we can say commutative property of multiplication. We write it as A into B is equal to B into A. So A and B again are variables. So if I tell it A is equal to 2, B is equal to 10. So A into B will be equal to 20. So these are the variables. And if I take A is equal to 6, B is equal to 12. So A into B will be 72. So again the value of the variable is not fixed. With the change in the value of the variables, the answer changes. The distributive property of multiplication over addition we write it at A plus B into C which is equal to A into C plus B into C. Now here A, B and C all are variables. We can take any value of A, B and C and we can find out the answers. So answer will change if we change the value of these variables A, B, C. 
so we are using algebra in every branch of the mathematics the side of a regular hexagon is denoted by l see the sides of hexagon are l express the perimeter of hexagon using l so we have taken let the side of hexagon is l l is the side the perimeter of hexagon is equal to how many sides are there l l l 1 2 3 4 5 6 sides so 6 into l so the perimeter of hexagon is 6 into l now let's say if i say if this side of hexagon is 10 centimeter then what will be the perimeter 6 into l l is the side of the hexagon the side is of 10 centimeters so 60 centimeters is the perimeter right so here l is the variable and this is the expression l into x is, uh, 6 into l is the expression with variables so i hope you have understood this do download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us